Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, back in March, according to reports doing the rounds online, a vulnerability was patched by Microsoft in the Windows NTLM authentication protocol, which apparently was known to be actively exploited for at least a month. So it was a zero-day exploited in the wild. And security researchers discovered the spoofing bug or spoofing security issue and, as mentioned, was patched and fixed by Microsoft with the March security cumulative updates for Patch Tuesday. Now, NTLM, in case you're unaware what that's all about, stands for New Technology LAN Manager NTLM and is a suite of Microsoft security protocols that's intended to provide authentication, integrity, and confidentiality to users in a Windows network. So that's what that's all about, in case you're unaware. Now, apparently, it was affecting Windows 10 and Windows 11. And the official description for CVE 20252405.4 reads as, and I'm quoting, external control of file name or path in Windows NTLM allows an unauthorized attacker to perform spoofing over a network. Now, in case you're wondering what spoofing is, just a quick recap. It's quite a common vulnerability. A spoofing attack is a situation in which a person or program successfully identifies as another by falsifying data to gain an illegitimate advantage. Now, just a couple of more details regarding um, this, this actual issue. How this all happens is apparently... It can be exploited using a maliciously crafted .library MS file or a MS library file. And just a quick recap as to what a MS library file is. Basically, library MS files allow you to view contents of multiple directories within a single file explorer view. It's part of the um, Windows OS and has actually been deprecated previously. And has actually been deprecated last year, but it does remain widely used. So that's why it can be exploited. Now, apparently, active exploitation in the wild had been observed since March the 19th, 2025, which potentially allowed attackers to leak user passwords and compromise systems. Now, Microsoft, the good news is Microsoft did release a security patch. If we just head into our Windows update, just to kind of put this all in perspective and context. Now, although Microsoft did roll out the update on the 11th, 12th of March, according to reports, threat actors already had over a week to develop and deploy exploits. That's why I always say on the channel, a zero-day exploited in the wild is currently out there, active and happening. Now, initial reports suggested that the exploitation occurred once the MS library file was unzipped. But according to Microsoft, um, according to the actual documentation for the patch that rolled out with the update, it indicates that the vulnerability could even be triggered with minimal user interactions such as right-clicking, dragging and dropping or simply navigating to the folder containing the malicious file, which obviously could be placed on your system. I think the most common way to do that would be as an as a email attachment. But the good news, as mentioned, Microsoft did patch the vulnerability. So I think as an average home user, if your system on Windows 10 and Windows 11 is fully patched and up to date, you have no reason to be concerned. And if you haven't installed those updates that have rolled out or your device is not fully patched, I would just suggest um, it's important for security and just make sure Windows 10 and Windows 11 are fully patched and up to date. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.